Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to show you RetroPie running on the ASUS Tinkerboard. This has been a long time coming and one of my good buddies Crash is putting together an image for this. If you're interested in trying this out, I will leave a link in the description so you can download this. All you're going to do is flash it with Etcher or Win32 Disk Imager. Then you're going to go into the RetroPie menu here, Tinker Config, expand your file system. That way you can use all of your SD card. Before we get started here, there are a few things to note. This is the first release of this build here. It's not exactly a standalone image, but it does boot right into RetroPie, and a lot of the stuff works really well. As of making this video, PSP hasn't been implemented or Dreamcast, but it should be in the next release, hopefully. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Crash's YouTube channel and the Tinkerboard RetroPie Facebook group if you're interested in asking any questions over there. As you might have noticed, it does support video snaps and box art. The scraper from within RetroPie is also working if you want to use that. Now, one thing that a lot of people want running on the Asus Tinkerboard is N64, but right now, it's not quite there. I'm going to show you a little demo of 007 running. Now, in my opinion, this does work with N64 as it sits right now better than the Raspberry Pi 3, but I expect a lot of performance increase in the near future. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this intro, get right into some gameplay. GoldenEye 007 for N64. Right off the bat, you might have noticed that the sound is a little jacked up. This is using Moop N64, but he's planning on porting Parallel over, which should work a little bit better. Now with some more optimizations, this should run N64 pretty well because when I'm running Android with the Tinkerboard, it almost runs N64 perfectly using Moop N64 FZ from the Play Store. So I really expect the performance to increase dramatically on the N64 emulator in the coming weeks, maybe months. This build is really a proof of concept. He really just wanted to get this out to show you guys that RetroPie does run on the Tinkerboard. And maybe if more people got a hold of Tinkerboards with this image, they could help the development move a lot faster. I'm going to go ahead and back out of the N64 emulator. We're going to try something else here. So real quick, before I test another emulator, Neo Geo works great. I tested a few games in here, like some Metal Slugs and one of my favorites, Blazing Star, and it just works. I mean, this board is perfect for arcade games like this. I also tested a few NES games, some Mega Drive and some SNES games, and they all work great. I mean, I expected them to work great because I literally have a $7 Android phone that I bought on Black Friday and it'll play Mega Drive, SNES, and NES perfectly, so there was no reason this shouldn't work. But while we're here, let's test out Altered Beast. Rise from your grave. So the board definitely has enough power, it just, it needs development, it needs more software developed for it. The guys over at Asus have been putting out images every once in a while, but this board's been out for about a year now, and not a lot has gone on. There is a build of Laka that works really well on the Asus Tinkerboard, but other than that, there's not a lot of retro gaming stuff going on for the Tinkerboard. So this is a great surprise. When he messaged me, I was stoked to try this out. As you can see, it's running Mega Drive, otherwise known as Genesis in the US, really good. Let's back out of here and try something else. So I figured next thing I want to test was PlayStation 1. We're going to test the Bloody Roar 2 to start with. I'm going to fast forward until we get into some gameplay. This is by far one of my favorite fighting games of all time. This is my go-to test for PlayStation 1 emulation. If it runs this, it's pretty much going to run anything else. So, as you can see, PlayStation 1 emulation is really good on the ASUS Tinkerboard with this RetroPie image. I'm going to test one more, and that'll be Crash Tag Team Racing.
So overall, I think this is working pretty well for a first release. Now, a lot of people got these tinker boards and they've just been sitting in a drawer. So I think it's time to pull it out, test this image. There is a lot of work that needs to be done, but right now it's totally usable the way it is. We definitely need to get PSP and Dreamcast implemented here, but I'm sure that'll happen in the next few weeks or so. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you're interested in downloading this image and testing it out, links in the description. I'll also leave a link to Crash's YouTube channel and the RetroPie Tinkerboard Facebook group. If you're looking to pick up an ASUS Tinkerboard, I'll leave links down below to Amazon. They also just announced the ASUS Tinkerboard S. It's pretty much the same hardware with 16 gigabytes of built-in storage and HDMI SEC. So it has the same GPU and CPU, but I'll leave links down below if you're interested in picking one up. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.